going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. So, we're going to check out this video. Um, the Twilight Zone versus American Horror Story. Now, some of y'all might get a little triggered, but I don't know much about the Twilight Zone. I've heard of it, but, you know, I never watched it before. But, you know, if I had to choose, obviously I'm going with American Horror Story. Y'all know, y'all have seen my reviews. I love that show. Shout out to Sarah Paulson, okay? Shout out to Angela Bassett. Shout out to Evan uh, Evan Peters and many more. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and check it on out. I'm riding with American Horror Story for life. AHS, my fans at, or my AHS fans at, okay, make some noise. Hit the like button. Let's go. In about a three, two, one. No matter who wins, we'll have chills. Welcome Whoa. to Watch Mojo, and in this installment of Versus, we're engaging in TV combat oh, with the me. Twilight Zone versus American Horror Story. For this list, we're comparing the original run of the Twilight Zone to American Horror Story to see which grabs the crown as the most iconic sci-fi horror anthology. Round 1. Stories. The tales from Rod Serling's seminal Twilight Zone are iconic. There's a man out there. Or a... a gremlin or... Some stories, moments, and characters are so recognizable that even those who haven't seen the original show know them instantly by sight or description. Oh, How is that anime? Tina, the original killer doll. My name is Eric Strader, and I'm going to get Fuck rid that. of you. You wouldn't dare. Or the broken glasses oh, hell and no. of it's not out my house. Whether the monsters are due on Maple Street or there's something on the wing of the plane, these tales have become an indelible like part a big of the cultural zeitgeist of the West. Ain't All you this hot, from a son? show that aired over 60 years ago. The stories Dang. live on with us. The stories of American Horror Story have their shock factor for that sure. That messed me up with them kids getting killed. And get internet buzz with mm -mm. each new season's release. That messed me However, up. However, outside of the fan base, the plots are not well known to the public. I thought I told you to throw that thing away. Oh, you're not talking? Well, I'll give you points for girl. creativity. Relying That's on a core husband. concept, each season plays in its own subgenre of horror and can be broadly described with those categories slasher, ghost story, dystopia, etc. without losing too much in the way of material. While the first season Murder House generated a lot of attention, it was mostly for the awesome shock value the show provided. And while new yeah, viewers will surely the hell be out of engaged me. as the original audiences, <laughs> we're going to have to go with the old school tales. Winner, The Twilight what? Zone. Round 2. Format. The Twilight Zone works okay, like a series of short stories. Each episode is its own standalone tale and wraps up within its roughly half hour time slot. Portrait of a Bush League Fuhrer named Peter Vollmer, a sparse little man who feeds off his self delusions. As an additional bit of drama, the show's creator, Rod Serling, introduces and closes out each episode. In his trim gray suit and with his detached, observant narrating style, he provides the audience a glimpse through an open door to the uncanny valley of each tale. The setup makes for tight, lurid storytelling. One month ago, the Earth suddenly changed its elliptical orbit and in doing so began to follow a path which gradually, moment by moment, day by day, took it closer to the sun. Of course, it also means the audience has limited time to become invested in the characters or plot. By contrast, the long now. form anthology format had never really been done in this manner in the US or so successfully on television before American Horror Story. What can you tell me about the occupant room 64? That room's vacant. You mind if I take a quick look? Oh, be my guest. Each season is a contained <laughs> story, with the next season bringing in a new plot and new core theme, while bringing That's back the actors for new characters and roles. The patients, Even though some of y'all but whatever. Including Willie really last night, have disappeared under your supervision. They died. That's it, period. This exciting format, which allows writers and showrunners to stretch out and keep things fresh at the same oh, this time, mother has Ooh. now been mirrored all over the oh, place, in I particular how gross in his face look. The idea of one full season to tell a big budget story was genuinely innovative. Winner, American Horror Story. I saw him get out of the ice cream truck. They just stood there oh. and stared at me. Round 3. Plot Twists, Twist Endings The twists of The Twilight Zone are legendary. Like EC Comics' Tales from the Crypt, which had risen and fallen in the first half of the 1950s, the Twilight Zone endings are generally ironic or serve up a huge That face would probably creep me out. Episodes like Eye of the Beholder, The Invaders, and To Serve Man are so well done that even modern audiences will find themselves surprised and shocked by what's around the corner. 
Well, if the Simpsons hasn't already tipped them off. Lincoln, you big, stupid space creature. Or predicting nobody, some other shit going on in But the world. nobody eats the Simpsons. And of course, the Twilight Zone features stories written by some of the great genre writers of the 20th century. Oh, Do we have an extra time. hand? What the hell's going on here? But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, oh, I think you'll see how we differ. The twists of American Ew. Horror Story can be big, and even downright gruesome, but in keeping with the chaotic feel of the show, sometimes also a bit out of nowhere. You died crying. <laughs> I held you. You were safe. You died. Love. The twists frequently go for the shocking rather than ironic keeping the audience on its toes as the show's creators continue to see just how far they can go and can be allowed to get away with on oh, television. Oh, they went far in this I show. think I made a wrong turn. I see you found my little hobby. However, one of the great joys of a well-executed twist ending is cleverness, which a shock doesn't need to rely on to be successful. So we're going old school. Winner, The Twilight Zone. Oh man. Round four, scares. Whatever. The Twilight Zone oh, was American at its time considered this a very spooky show. Scared we still use the term Twilight Zone to describe something uncanny or mysterious. Huh? That's weird. It's like something out of that Twilighty show about that zone. However, perhaps unsurprisingly, the 60 plus year old scares yeah. don't always quite hold up. It was a different era, and this is basically is much be like a rubber stuff than or desensitized modern audiences can now handle being broadcast into people's living rooms. And you keep thinking bad thoughts about me. Uh, oh. cool. There are still some what very just happened? ideas. The little boy who sends people to the cornfield, or the woman pursued by the relentless hitchhiker, for instance. But nothing folks these days might consider truly, utterly horrifying. I believe you're going my way. Horror, on the other hand, is the bloody bread and butter of AHS. And we do mean bloody. Caesar! <laughs> scares run, run the full gamut of the horror spectrum. Jump scares, gore, body horror, creeping dread, haunting visuals, Ew. you name it. American Horror Story is apt to go there. From makeup to effects to plots, things can get twisted enough that even ardent horror fans might have to look away. Hey, it is called American Horror Story. It does what it says on the box. Winner, yeah, American Horror Story. They scared Before the hell we continue, out of me, I know that. Be sure to subscribe to our Especially channel with and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Kill, you have the option to be notified for occasional videos disturbing. or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Yeah, 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 we got Round it. Round five, cultural impact. Oh, here we go with the UFOs again. Oh, Rod dear. Serling's influential show has been parodied, copied, and loved for years. While it was not the first sci-fi horror anthology of its kind on either television or radio, the reach of The Twilight Zone has extended into film, TV, art, and music. Ah! Everybody, there's a monster on the side of the bus! Ah! Stylish and clever, the show has lived on in several incarnations, spawning an entire media franchise. Its third iteration lit up screens of a whole new yeah, generation in 2019, hosted by comedy and horror auteur Jordan Peele. In his final moments, Justin Sanderson made the case that he did everything he could to avert disaster. But in the end, he was an investigative reporter unwilling to investigate himself until it was too late. Its influence can be seen in and many Jordan other Peele shows and movies show. following similar formats, including, well, American Horror Story. The Twilight Zone does have half a century or so on American Horror Story, so it's hard to compare. But we're pretty confident about a few things. Where AHS seems primed to achieve a well-earned cult status by the end of its run, its current cultural impact just isn't there in the same way as Serling's opus. While AHS did help to shift horror TV in a bolder, edgier direction, at the beginning of a decade that would fall when in love with the horror all gun. over again, it still owes a lot of its setup to the Twilight Zone. Technology is what destroyed the world. Social Beautiful. media gave people the illusion they were equal. But that's all been swept away. And so, we have our final destination. Winner, the Twilight Zone. What? Did we pick- And listen, no disrespect to the old school, but I mean, listen. Obviously, we're living in a more modern time. I mean, I grew up in the early 2000s. I was born in 96. Um, when I started binge watching American Horror Story, I was like, whoa, 
You know what I'm saying? Because this was like a show I've never seen before. All this crazy ass shit. You had the murders, the sex, the uh, stories of it all. And it's just like American Horror Story. Uh, one of the things I love is like the different like um, themes and uh, what's another word for it? like a theme? Well, you get it like themes of the of each season. First was Murder House, um, Asylum, Coven, Freak Show, Hotel, Roanoke, Cult, Apocalypse. Come on, eighty four. That's a lot of shit. And uh, you know we're gonna wait and see what um, season ten is gonna be about um, because you know obviously. I guess postponed because of what's going on right now but you know I'm looking forward to it that's for damn sure and uh you know I just you know you have your favorite characters and your favorite actors or actresses um as I said before wait yeah you know I'm saying so but yeah and like I said that one dude with the face and shit Looking like he belonged in damn lake, a, a swamp or something. That ugly ass face. That probably would have scared me if I was a kid. I would have happened to watch um, the Twilight Zone. I mean, don't get me wrong, because I did get scared from old school shit back in the day. One of them was the Candyman. Okay, shout out to Jordan Peele again. I can't wait to see that. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit sad because they pushed it back. You know what I'm saying? They pushed the game. Well, not the game. The uh, movie back. To September but in a way it's like a personal gift because it comes out two days after my birthday it comes out on September 25th my birthday is on September 23rd so that's like a personal gift for me so um you know I don't know how it's gonna be to be able to go to the theaters by then maybe we could be able to watch it digitally you know just to be on the safer side but we'll see if they limit people you know what I'm saying because of what's going on right now. But, uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm still rocking with American Horror Story. I still need to collect, well, get more DVDs. I only got about seasons one and two. So I obviously got a way to go. But you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Twilight Zone. Shout out to American Horror Story. Shout out to my AHS fans. I can't wait to see the next um, season. And I can't wait for you guys to check out my reviews when they come back on. So, yeah. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below. Uh, who y'all rocking with, The Twilight Zone or American Horror Story? And if you are rocking with American Horror Story, put a skull emoji in the comment section. Go ahead and do that, do that, do that, do that. So, um, anyway, you guys let me know if there's anything else I could react to for you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to be checking out some more madness combat type of stuff going on. White Hank and that other stuff going on so if there's some other things let me know in the comment section regarding madness combat because there's white hey one white hank excuse me i said white hey who is that white hank one two and zero so uh the zero go, go first you know what i'm saying i don't know somebody let me know in the comment section and uh with that being said please guys wash your hands wash your asses okay sanitize tidy up around the house when needed and uh yeah Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.